Did I start yet? I think I did. Almost. I gotta see it first. Yes! We started. Excellent. Alright, it's 10 p.m. I'm on time for once. And it's October 4th today. What a shocker. Ah, that's some good water. One more sip. Pour myself some more. Okay. So yesterday, when I mentioned so many F-bombs popping up in shows, of course I forget some of the most obvious. I was talking about how Walking Dead has been allowed a couple of F-bombs now. Of course I forget that Tales of the Walking Dead had a few as well. Terry Crews' character Joe, he said one. And then t uh, Dead in the Water, a Fear of the Walking Dead story, that had, that had a couple. Though that was a one-off and that was a streaming service exclusive, so maybe they got, they got a little more, uh, whatever the hell the word is I'm looking for, they got a little more freedom. Alright, I believe there is dead ass nothing for us to do today. No one we can go with. Nothing. Alright, because there's nothing for us to do, let's go into the palace. To the palace? Yes! So let's see. Uh, I got one... One overall topic to talk about today, but it's like two different, two different uh, sections. But before that... So, uh, just before me starting this, I caught another centipede. It's in a jar, literally like right in front of me. I gotta release it after this. This is literally my third centipede within 24 hours. They're all here. Now, this is actually the first one of those three that I successfully caught. Okay, let's go. This morning, no wait, no. The first one was last night. Last night, I went to the basement to work out. I saw one on the ceiling. I tried to get it, but Come it on. Let's go. It fell behind a whole bunch of stuff, like fell behind mattresses and a lot of big objects, so I couldn't move all of them to get to it. Well, I lost sight of that one. Can't get that one. It's time to work. How was that? Did I sound cool? Indeed you did, Haru. Uh, and then earlier this morning, I didn't notice there was one in my shower, so that kind of got flushed away down the drain. Oops. We've arrived. Now let's push forward, Joker. I keep forgetting. I must. Okay, let's move I on. must always check my bathtub because well then. For some reason, big centipedes, like enormous centipedes love to show up there. And yet they're trapped in there. Yep, they can't yep. climb back out. So I need to always check my bathtub before I actually get in it. All right, so this palace is rather long. Indeed. So let's see how many parts this palace gets split up into. Maybe two parts, maybe three. Now, where do I go first? We can't go there, so maybe we go to that other staircase first. Right, we gotta... Oh, never mind, there was an enemy here before. I guess that was only to stop us from coming here before we were meant to. Feel it. Marble chessboard. <laughs> it's all masked dudes in here too. So just like Cyndaquil, last time I mentioned I was going to get a shiny, I was going to hunt this specific shiny, and today I already got it. I, today I got a shiny hair across after 126 eggs out of 191 total eggs. Wait, what? Treasure skimmer. If you ask, if you ask 
for an item during a holdup from an enemy that has been targeted by a treasure skimmer, you'll get their rare item without fail. Sweet. Let's try it. Ice attacks are out. They're weak, but don't let your guard down. Look at the name. It's green. It says skimmed. Skimmed just like milk. Doesn't seem to have a weakness. No weakness on you. It isn't a major threat, but don't use electric attacks. So I need fire something and new. But don't let your guard down. But is anyone weak to is anyone immune to ice? You are, yes. So I'll just use one. Ah, whatever. Someone finish it. No holding back. Alright. Definitely do it on you. Because you have no weakness, I can bring you down first. I'll show this, why not? Okay, maybe it'll just kill it. Fantastic, instead of just bringing it down. So no wind, but I can use wind on you. I kind of don't want to try to kill you with one hit, so I need to use new. Uh, I'll try this, even though this is a horrible idea. So what were you weak to? You were weak to fire, weren't you? No, 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 I need fire. Because that move will obliterate both of you. Where was my weaker fire? Didn't I have one? I guess not. I don't have a weak nuke, so I'm just going to have to take you down without getting your item. Oh well, it's not a big loss. Okay. But yeah, today I already got I already got the shiny hair across. Go find a strong enemy. Just like Cyndaquil, I say that I was going to get it, and then the next day I got it. I mean hey, that's a great thing. A quick hunt. That's the power of the Masuda method, baby! Uh so let's see. I'm trying to remember what it is we need to do here. So now I'm moving on to a shiny Munchlax to hunt. I only delayed myself looking up how to hunt it by one day. So I real quick looked it up, and all I need to do is make a make a Snorlax hold a full incense to breed. So I checked my items, and thankfully I already had one. I have no idea where I picked it up from, but hey, I'm not complaining. So it's, it's time to hunt a shiny Munchlax. And you know, contrary to popular belief of me only, only hunting for male shinies, I would love to get a female shiny Munchlax. Just because of how rare it is. I believe the ratio is like all right. only 12% female. That's all. Not even, like 11 point something. So it's a pretty low chance to get a female Munchlax, let alone a shiny one. So I would love it if I, would to, if I were to get a shiny female Munchlax. But if I don't, then it's not the end of the world. See it. I knew it. I knew there would be an item behind one of these. Nope, that's where I just came from. So we already ex explored this f floor. I almost had flight. So we need to go down. I can see it. I will take. And just so I won't get tempted later on, I'll just remove that. What a surprise. Can we go around to the other side? Show me your true form. With the fire, right? And no ice? Oh no, I can use ice, but I'm not going to. Come. 
Ooh, I took a I took a brief power nap before this. You know, I still haven't worked out for the day. I gotta do that after this. After I'm done playing this, I'm gonna be going on the treadmill. I don't want to, I don't like it, but I still have to. Okay. Focus. It was so easy, I'm yawning. Alright, let me talk about that one topic that was basically my entire day today. So let me just, you know, peel off the band-aid real quick and just tell you guys straight up. I have Tinder. Yes, I do indeed have Tinder. Now, let me explain, okay? <laughs> Before you guys jump to conclusions. Thinking that I'm desperate to find someone. When I first downloaded Tinder, I fully never expected anything to come out of having Tinder. I never expected to actually meet someone by downloading the app. And I was right. To this day, I still haven't. Let's see, I, I need nuke. Nuke and no weakness. But can I use ice on them? Hold on. Yes, I can. That was pretty stupid. That's why I always check. If you think it's annoying that I keep on checking, well, that's why I keep on checking. So I can use nuke on all of them. Alright, let's go to you and let's see if you can knock knock her down. Okay, or just flat out kill it. So I think like it was two days ago when I randomly just remembered. Oh right, I have this app. I have Tinder on my phone. Right. They were nothing. It was like 2 in the morning. I was in bed, unable to fall asleep, and I'm just like looking through my phone. It's like, oh right, I have Tinder. Let me just go on real quick and just do some swipes since I, you know, remembered I even have this app. And so I did. And then, you know, to no surprise, my f I, I get notifications like the next day or so okay. saying, you got matches. See who liked you as well. And it's like, yeah, I really don't expect this to be the case. Because, at first I wasn't even sure if I had the right Tinder app, but then I looked on the App Store. Nope, it's the only one. There's only one Tinder on the App Store. Now you might wonder, like, why would you think there were, why do you think there's a different app? Well, that's because, with my experience with Tinder, you can't see who liked you, like, who matched you. Oh, wait a second. Is it matched or who just simply liked you as well? I think it might be liked. I don't know. I clearly don't use this app that much. I think it's... You can't see who's liked you. So you need to pay for Tinder Gold to see who liked you. And then you can potentially swipe to match back. I can't even remember what it is I need to do here. Am I supposed to go through that door over there? So I get, I supposedly get people swiping right on me, but I can't see them because I, I don't have Tinder Gold. Now you might ask, how much is Tinder Gold? Well, actually, let me pull up a screenshot because I took one to show my friends. Uh, Tinder Gold, $40 a month, $120 for six months, and that's already save 50%. And then for one year, 160 bucks. Save 67%. What? I am not paying $40 a month just to see who swiped my face on a dating app. Desperate beyond belief? I have something. Yep, that's me. I'm actually using Tinder. Which I never actually wanted to. You know, like I always wanted to just meet someone the old fashioned way in person. I never actually wanted to ever meet someone like through a dating app. But you know what? I guess you could just call me old because that's the old way of thinking.
<sighs> so, so, my belief was, this is... without paying for this subscription, I would not be able to see who liked me, see who I matched with, message anyone. So that's kind of why I don't really use the app. So I can't go further at the moment. Um. Uh, it wasn't until... Okay, this, this was pretty stupid of me. So, you know. Prepare all of your judgments accordingly. So, what I did was I went into the app store and I updated the app. After I updated, I, you know, looked around the app and it's like, oh, let me, t I, I tapped on something. Show me your and finally, I was able to see who messaged me without paying for the subscription. I'm just like, oh, is that all I had to do? I just had to update the app this whole time? Joker. Listen, I don't really like updating apps. Now, I don't like doing that. I don't even like updating iOS. I don't like updating stuff because sometimes it changes the entire layout and I don't like that. You know, I'm used to the layout I have now. And sometimes, like, with iOS, it changes everything. All right. And I was just like, damn, now I'm not used to any of this. And I have no choice but to accept it because I can't go back. So that's why I don't really like updating apps and stuff. Yeah, we don't need to... Uh, whatever this guy says is pointless. So now, I think I need to make it back to the pool area. Or have I even been there yet? Oh, Show there's a shadow right there. Form. Uh, if only I burped during that rapid fire session. It has no weakness. Our best chance is to make it continue. So I need fire and something to take you down. It has no weakness. So I can use ice. Can I use ice on you? Yes. Ooh. I'm confusing my buttons. Can I use nuke on you? I keep on needing to check. Yes. So it turns out I got a message from someone on Tinder, but the thing is, the message was yesterday. And I didn't respond because, you know, I couldn't figure out how the app worked. So I guess you could say I missed my chance there. Now, what did this person in particular message me? Now, she said, Hi. What did, what the hell did she even say? Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. She said, hey, with three Y's. Hey, you're cute. <laughs> now, the last time I was called cute in my life was when I was a baby, when I was a toddler. You know, now that I'm grown, I ain't been called cute once in my life. You know, not not in the sense that it's actually genuine. Somewhere. But you know what? Because this is rarer than, you know, Jupiter coming closer to the Earth, I'll take the compliment, I guess. Uh, at least I'm cute to one person on this planet. I'll take it. If I'm not fat and ugly to others, I guess statistically I had to look, I had to look good to someone out there. Now, I really don't remember what I need to do here. Hmm. Didn't I need to talk to a bartender? Show me your true form. Give me one second. I need to take my headphones off for a second. Trevor Demon in 
sight. Let's get it. Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Electric. Electric nuke. What's the third one? Fire. Man, can we have a more... Assortment of weaknesses to keep in mind? Let's see. I need to baton pass it to Joker. Hopefully Joker has electric boost. Maybe I should put Ryuji in. And now I need fire. No! Oh, I can't use fire. Shit. No. Uh, maybe I should put On on the team. Maybe I should put Panther on the team. Because Yusuke... Nothing really weak to ice. Well, no, that white lion thing is. I'm not done. And I have no ice on me. I guess I could just use some strong move to just hit them all. But no, I can't hit that one with the. Uh... Well, let's try this. Works for me. Oh, I can't all out attack? Okay. This treasure demon's done for. Just like I thought. Now, because I was kind of a day late to responding to this person, because I didn't even know okay. how to actually respond back, Focus. I don't use Tinder, okay? I don't know how this stuff works. Now, I, I responded back today, which was already way too late, which was a day late. And I have not gotten a response back, so uh, yeah, I kind of missed my chance there. Missed my shot. But you know what? It's okay. You know, what, was it a, was it a, you know, a pretty huge loss, kinda, yeah, because uh, she lived quite close. You know, she wasn't bad looking either, and she lives quite close, and she texted first, and it's like, damn. Once again, I just have to mess it all up. And that's what I get for actually downloading this I'll app. Feel your true form. Despite not expecting anything from it. And clearly I'm not experienced in here. You can tell I'm inexperienced in this portion. Because I had no idea what to text. Not what to text back regardless of if I was on time or not. So what exactly did I respond? Well, the first thing I said was, hi, and thank you. My god, I feel like I already did something wrong. And then I, and then I just replied it, I just replied it back. I said, I think you're cute too. And, well, end of discussion. The, the end. She didn't respond, and it's like, well, too bad. Unfortunate for me. I don't remember. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to show me your true form. I need to get to the pool area, but like, where do I get a membership card first? No, I need to go to the restaurant first. So I need nuke and fire. Can I use fire on you guys? I mean nuke. According to plan. Just like I thought. But yeah, like the two right. things I responded, I said hi and thank you, and I said I think you're cute Boy, too. And it's like I already me. feel like I did something wrong, aside from the fact that I'm ultra late to respond. I, I still feel like I did something wrong. Like, I should have responded with something else. Am I supposed to... Hold on. Yo, man, uh... I needed that membership card. Where do I get one again? Joker. How do I get that membership card? I can't remember. 
I'm gonna look this up real quick. Because I really don't remember. Oh, wait a second. I need to talk to some random ass passengers. Was that it? I think uh, the video I saw, like, explaining how to very quickly do this. I need to talk to some passengers who, who said that they dropped it. Oh, not quite yet. I hear it's received high praise from a famous congressman. Correct you are. The good sir visit it, visits it almost every day. So I just need to find some passengers with a little thought bubble above their head. Find the one who dropped their membership card. Maybe over there. Let's see it. All right, not you. The staircases only go up, so I can't go down. Was it perhaps you? What's the matter? You have been act you've been acting quite finicky. Oh, it seems I've dropped my card for the restaurant somewhere around here. Oh, you dropped your card for the restaurant, you say? My my, you won't be able to dine there without it. Have you tried consulting the staff? Haha, <laughs> not yet. I, I doubt there's any need to worry, though. I'll try asking around the bars later. There, now I have to talk to a bartender, a barista, whatever. Is it a bartender? I know Mr. Per Mr. Mr. Personally. I know uh, Mr. Shido personally. So I showed my friends that, you know... Tinder kind of sucks. And a whole bunch of my friends were responding like, why on green, why on God's green earth do you have Tinder? I forget what I responded, actually. <laughs> Wait, let me pull that up. Let me pull up that chat message real quick. What did I respond? And I replied, why don't you? And I was like, I thought we established that I have this app long ago. I thought we've established long ago that I do have this app. Is that a safe on the table? Oh no, what, what, is, what is this thing? I have no idea what that is. Uh, yo man, I, I lost my membership card. Uh, have you seen it anywhere? Has anyone turned anything in? I'd like a drink. What article? What article are you looking for in particular? Who says what article? The re that restaurant thing. Unfortunately, nothing of that of that sort has been dropped off here. Hmm. <sighs> So a bunch of my friends asked to see my profile, which I replied, hell no. My Tinder profile is pretty bare. I literally only have one picture of myself, and it's quite ugly. I've always been meaning to put more pictures of myself, but it's like I, I completely forget to. Oh yeah, I, I just, I, I I think when I took that picture, I just needed a picture to start with the app. So I just took a, a very ugly selfie and I just post, I just used it. And because I don't have any other pictures of myself, Focus. well, I didn't put anything else on there of myself. That's the one and only picture that all the women see. Like they can't, they can't browse to get different angles of me. No, that's the one and only picture. 
And I guess I, w I came off cute to one person out there. Ah, so it was so it was yours. Please do not worry. We have been holding it, uh, holding on to it for you this whole time. Hey, thanks, man. I'm a return. I'm a return back here with a tip, a nice big tip for you. Trust that. Let me just go to my room real quick and grab you a tip. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I ain't coming back. But yeah, uh. It turns out, after I updated the app, uh, uh, I almost said Tumblr, <laughs> Tinder has this thing where you can, where you can set it to what kind of relationship you're looking for. You can set it as like, looking exclusively for long term, you're looking for long term but you're open to a short term, like you just want to have some fun and just do some short term stuff. There's an option where it's like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, what I put down, I guess, was I chose long-term, but open to short-term. My friends saw this, and they were just like, like, aren't you looking for long-term? And I'm just like, eventually, yes. Eventually, I would like to find a long-term relationship. Um... But for now, since I'm still young, I'd like to, you know, mingle a bit, like to dabble in the options a bit. And you know, me, there that's when a, my, a friend of mine completely butt heads because we are looking for totally different things. Him, my friend, he's... He, he, in a perfect world, he would expect to... Not expect, but he would hope to find, you know, th the one first try. Like, he, he's not playing around. He doesn't want none of that, you know, that puppy love what? stuff. You know, he wants to find the one true love for himself for the rest of his life and I'm just like okay but you know for me since I'm still young I'd like to meet new people you know go on a couple different Aww. dates see what I can get is like but first of all unfortunately I'm not that kind of guy you know I'm not the type of guy that gets many women that goes on many dates At the end of our conversation, oh I kind of had to reiterate like what I meant by I'm looking for a long term but open to short term. Isn't there voice acting here? That must be the table. Yes, I'll continue after this. Right. That influential politician comes here. Why don't we have a seat at the table next to it and wait for him? I'll go. He may become guarded if we go in a big group. Wouldn't it be odd with just one girl sitting there, though? Does someone want to come with me? Go, Skull. Go, Fox. I'll go. Hold up, Joker. Let me go with her. I mean, dude. It's a restaurant. What are you, a preschooler? <sighs> I was wondering why you were so excited about this. <sighs> <laughs> a nice big why sigh. Why asking me to do this? All right, we're going in. Wow, wow Morgana Everyone just deflected. Nearby. I'll give the signal when the time is right. Man, what should I eat? You can't get full off of food in a palace. You can at least He's taste it. Can you at least taste it, if not get full? Because that'd be great. Uh, I can't read this. Just, you know, gulp it all down. It's like, I got room for more. I'll have the sautéed foie gras. A salad garnished with truffles and roasted lamb, please. A salad garnished with truffles? I can't believe you can order so easily like that. Say, ain't we kind of young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? Hmm, I never tried four gua before. In political and financial worlds. But who's oh my god, I gotta mute this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta mute this.
All right, this looks like a Bakugan. So weak to Psychic. Ah, uh, so we don't know about Ice. I can try it. No Ice! Let's try Nuke. So I need Psychic. I keep calling it Psychic. It's Psychokinesis. I mean, this is heavy to all. Do I have something else so I don't waste all the SP? Because SP goes faster than you think, even with the adhesive patch. Ooh, Joker. You're looking cool. Beat him up. I'll continue the story after this fight, because there's more voice acting after this. Okay, no ice. Let's try some melee. That works. I once again had Costco hot dogs and poutine for dinner again. Mmm, fattening. Yeah, so I definitely need to hit that treadmill after this. Especially the fact that I took a power nap right after dinner. It's even more fattening to nap, to, to sleep after a meal. What is this one? Heavy win to all. Fantastic. Whoa, the new move. Concentrate. Next magical attack deals over double the damage. Ooh, that one's good. But do I really want to replace something for that? I can maybe get rid of this, but that's a high chance of sleep. And that costs so little. That's pretty good to have. So is this. Maybe I don't need burn. I don't think I need burn. Because I think just, you know, damaging them is good enough. So I think I'll get rid of burn boost. Alright. We got a letter of introduction. Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Not a chance. Fine. What? In any case. It turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. Up until Kaneshiro's palace, Cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No. That Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hmm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Shouldn't we, like, tie... Wow, that voice crack. Shouldn't we t Oh, God, he yes, gotta mute this again.
Hey. The metaverse is kind of like Shido's version of a Death Note. Anyways. <clears throat> so, back to it. Let me explain the rest of the story before I explain my part. So, my friend said he wanted... He, he hopes to, you know, just find the one. Just, first of all. First off, whatever. Like, he doesn't have to... He doesn't want to date multiple people, because... To him, he's like, what's the point of dating if not to find the one person? Focus. Like this music, by the way. And yeah, I get that. So, you know, he asked me, like, why would you want to date multiple people? And I said, for fun. You know? So then we had, like, a discussion back and forth about, you know, dating multiple people versus finding that one person right away. To grow oneself, yeah, for for character development. So what he said was, uh, like he wants to meet that one person, that that one soulmate, right away, like first try. Like he doesn't want to go through like dating multiple people to to find that one person. And the way he explained how he wants to do that is, you know, he doesn't want to just. All the connection happened right away, like through a dating app. I should probably Let's save the game. It. He doesn't want to, you know, swipe faces on a phone and then, you know, chat a bit. Immediately you meet and then you start dating. He doesn't want that. He wants okay. to, like, Let's meet go. the person naturally. He wants to grow closer, become friends, get to know that person first. And over time, like, now that he knows this person... Oh, hold on a sec, you guys. Get a feel, like, is he interested in this person? Oh, I thought that was Panthers talking. Preposterous. Go to hell, Inari. Can you just come back here? It doesn't always work that easily. Yeah, I know. Uh, let me let me hey, finish goodness. explaining. We're human again. Looks like we turn back when we leave the affected range. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> it most certainly is a big deal. Explain what just happened to us. It seems like people who Shido views as intruders turn into mice near those Shido statues. Oh, so we're nothing but rodents to him, huh? That's irritating. I agree. Uh, we need to be extra careful when we're in mouse form. We won't be able to open doors, and any enemy we try to fight in that state will beat us to a pulp. So all we can do is hide? I guess we'll have to change to a completely defensive strategy. I hope we can find a secret passage to get through there. So, let me bring up a question to you guys. So, take a look at Morgana's mouse. You can see, that's, uh, is that a mask or is that just the top of his head? Let me, there, let me try to get a good view. There we go, I guess. So, this whole time we've been seeing Morgana, the top part of his head, is that a mask or is that just his head? If that's a mask, we don't know how Morgana's actual head looks like. Because, you know, all our mice wear our masks, and then we got Morgana. It's like a cat girl, but a, a cat mouse. Mm. So if Morgana has been wearing a mask this whole time, have we not seen his actual face? A mouse with cat ears. Huh, I, I, oh yeah, I guess that's the case. Neat. Anyway, so I was trying to explain to my friend, like, but that doesn't always work, like you said. Because I was saying, if you spend, I don't know, say months, a year maybe, getting to know someone, like you're friends with the, with someone, and you want to see if you're interested or not. If you're not interested, well, you just wasted a whole bunch of time. Now you have to go out, meet new people, befriend them, be friends. Get to know them over a long period of time, and then you get to decide for yourself, do you like that person? And if not, well, that's such a long process for you. And you know, what if you don't find someone that you like through that process? Oh wait, we're still mice. Oh, I thought we were gonna turn back. Well, now you get all- you got a lot of friends! <laughs> and then, like, after I explain this, 
he actually replied like, yeah, he kind of he kind of said that. He was like, well, now I have a bunch of friend groups. But then I replied, but that's not the point here. That that wasn't the purpose of this. The whole purpose was you meet someone, you trying to you trying to find a partner. That was the whole point of this. Like, I understand okay. his method, like his preferred uh, preferred, I don't know, course of action to, to find a partner. But it's like, there's a huge risk to that too. You could potentially waste a lot of time. I even told him too, like, we only have a certain amount of time to, you know, get married and stuff. And when I say that, I mean like, it's best to meet someone young. You know, the chances of you getting married are a little bit less when you're like 40 years old. Like, that's what I mean by that. Ooh, I see something over there. So I've already been all over here. He wants to go through ranks 1 to 8. 1 through 8 before romancing. He just wants to get... Th <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So then, you know, he was real confused on why in my Tinder profile I, I had it set to looking for long term but open to short term. And at the very end, I, I kind of had to re- Oh god! God damn it. I, I kind of had to reiterate like what I meant by that. Because, you know, the, the whole point of dating is to find that one person. Because you never know if a relationship is going to last or not. You know, you can't exactly look into a crystal ball and determine this relationship will only last two months. That one will last me six years, though. Hold on a second. Like, you don't know how right. long a relationship will last. That's why you... Oh, jeez! That's why you try to date multiple people, because, you know, well, not all at the same time. You go on multiple dates with multiple people separately. You can at least get a feel like, do you like this person? Yes or no. And if you end up going going out, you never know if it's going to work out. Okay. Sure, that you could get lucky and that's the one person for the rest of your life. Or that relationship could last you like two months. You don't know. He doesn't want to go through any of that. He just wants, you know, to, to find that one person right away. Well, not once, but he hopes that happens. Now, what do I do here? Uh, I'm always confused on where I need to go. Should be some mouse hole somewhere, because all the gray areas are where mice. This door's locked, and this leads me just back there. Has to be a path somewhere. Mm, I th think I remember one along the wall here. No, no, you don't see me. No, get away, get away. Get away from me. Wasn't there something right there, right there. No. So what did I mean by uh, looking for long term, but open to short term? What did I mean by that? Like, because you never know, or either I never know if a relationship's gonna work out or not. I'm saying, like, I'm okay if, you know, we, we, we try it. We try going out. If it doesn't work, and, like, you know, if it's very short-lived, that's okay. That's what I meant by that. I mean, I'm looking for long-term, hopefully, preferably. But I'm okay if the relationship only lasts, like, I don't know, a month, two months, maybe, like, two weeks. Just because we tried... We tried and it doesn't work. We we just aren't compatible. It's like okay, I'm okay with that. We tried. Indeed. We tried and it we just aren't right together. No problem. I'll just try to meet someone new. Like that's what I mean by okay. by being okay with short term. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't think my friend understands that. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to say 
when I'm looking for short term. I'm trying to say like a summer fling. Like only this summer and then Show once the summer's over, form. bye. Like that's not what I'm looking for. We just went back and forth on this. But I was trying to explain to him like what a short term means and what's what is the point of dating multiple people. And he's just trying to explain to me like how he wants to find his soulmate, that one person. That one person in his life. And how he's not interested in the steps prior to that, I guess. Like he doesn't want to he doesn't want to date multiple people. You know, I'm in primarily two group chats. One of them are we're a little more um, open-minded, and the other one, like these guys, the friend I'm talking about here, he's this group chat's a little more clean. Yeah, these guys aren't really, uh, you know. Okay. They're not really looking. Leave the noobs and let's go. So of all my friends were like, why do you have Tinder? You know. You clearly didn't make this choice on your own, so what made you- what- what propelled you to get the app? I'm just like, bruh, most of our friends have it. It's actually just you guys who don't. Like, most of our friends actually have Tinder. It's only you guys in this group chat that don't. And because I'm the only one in this whole group that has it, I'm the one who's weird and singled out for actually having Tinder. Oh my god, look at that one. Well, I guess I have to. Hopefully I can ambush you! Show me your true form! Oh, it's you. It's the it's the Bakugan Fortress, right? Was that the Bakugan? So no weakness. Wait. So yes to ice, no to fire. Ooh, freeze! Awesome! I should I should have talked because that could end the fight quicker. If I wasn't allowed to, I could at least have tried. Let's try. Why angry? Nice. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Uh, show me the money. No, I cannot. You know what my biggest concern is when it comes to Tinder? And if I actually do get a match, we start texting, we start talking, and then we actually arrange to meet up. You know what my biggest worry is there? One, the moment she finds out I can't freaking drive, that's the deal breaker right there. Nah, technical, I'll, I'll guard with Yusuke. Oh, now you... Of course you would recover right away. Like the moment, the moment whoever I'm I'm out on a first date with, the moment she realizes I can't drive, that's the deal breaker right there. Let's continue, okay? Let's move on. You know, I should probably just save myself the heartache and just write in my Tinder profile: no car, right. can't drive yet. <laughs> let's see how many. Let Let's see, like, I already don't get matches. I already don't get swipes on me. I will get negative swipes, if that's even a thing. I will, I will make that a thing. Focus. Because of me, that'll become possible. Because I put, I cannot drive, in my Tinder profile. That's not a deal breaker for most. Well, in my mind, it is. Okay. You know, it's like, ooh, let's go on a fancy dinner tonight. It's like, alright, I'll call us an Uber. I'll get my sister to drive us. Like, yeah, that's not embarrassing at all. 
That doesn't make me feel less of a man than I already am. Unless you're trying to date yourself, you don't think that's a problem. Says the guy who can drive. Says the guy who, who does have a car and can drive. So I need fire and nothing. Uh, when you're at school, you can't, but you still can. Like, you still have the ability to drive. Like, you can at least, if you're on a date, you can at least tell the person, I'm able to drive, but I don't have a car. At least that sounds better than, I can't drive, nor do I have a car. So I can't use ice. Uh, physical attacks usually do more damage than spells. Mm, but they cost so much SP, not SP, they cost so much HP. HP doesn't matter if they're dead. Mm, we'll see. All right. That's all it takes for me. So let's see. I need to go. There's a room or a path right there, but I want to see what's down there first. Because I do not remember where this where this guy's will seats are. I think one is like outside the ship, like where the life rafts are, lifeboats. I think. I can't remember. So I need nuke and fire. Wait, can I use ice on any of these guys? Your null to ice. Well, I can't heal you any more than full health, so it doesn't matter. Or block doesn't matter. If they're green, just run at them and they will you inst- Oh, what? I can do that? Just run at them and they'll you instantly die? I can do that? I thought that was only mementos. I gotta try that. I didn't know that. I thought, I thought that was only mementos because you were riding in Morgana. Pause. Victory is ours. Good work, everyone. All right. That was so easy. I'm yawning. Something. Nah, he does a a pose and instant kill. I shall see. Can you aim and actually hit the door? Thank you. All right, let's let's try it. Just gonna football tackle you down. All right. He does a dab. I have something. Man, th this game is too big. There's so much stuff. I can't remember everything. Treasure chest. Why don't we open it? Is this a path forward? If so, let me go take a look at what's over there then. All right, we found the path forward. Now let's go back. Because there's one more room over there I haven't checked yet. And can I unlock this door from here? Yes, I can. Uh. <clears throat> Bro, I think you missed the story. So I actually did get... Like a match on Tinder. I even got a message, but I was a little too late to respond. Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out how this app worked. All I had to do was update the stinking app. And by then, I was already way too late in responding. Uh, I, I got a message yesterday, and I responded today. So it's like, well, I already lost my chance there. And it was a pretty big missed opportunity, too. Because she lives nearby somewhat nearby it's a it's, it's a decent drive but it's still relatively close and hey she even messaged first 
you know, she... It's not too late. I've seen people reply after a month. Well, the thing is, I did reply, and I have not gotten another reply back. So I think, uh... Yeah, I think it's safe to assume for now that I kind of messed up there. That's a will seat, ain't it? We're doing pretty good so... Wow, VIP, huh? No, VVIP! Very, very important person. Is that what VIP stands for? Red Pride Seat. Of course it's Pride. Of course Sheeta would be Sheeta's associated with Pride. Nice. Let's find the rest of them. Alright. Oh, oh, I just jumped down. I thought I would Tarzan swing across this. Uh, okay. So just make a run for it. I said make a run for it! Yeah. No! Okay. Show me your true form. Mashing the button there to dodge. <clears throat> like, what she texted first was, you're cute. And like I said, I ain't been called cute a day in my life, aside from when I was a baby. But you know what, I'll take the compliment, since it, it never happens. So I need nuke, something, and fire. Uh, let me just, I don't know. So let's see, nuke, who needs it? You, but can I use nuke on all of you? I, there's, it's so confusing. No, this, this. All right, let's try fire. Okay. I may have been a day late, but I still replied like, I, I replied hi and thank you. Like thank you for uh, calling me cute. I guess like, I didn't say it like that. All I said was hi and thank you. And then I said. I think you're cute okay. too. And at that moment, I'm like, huh? I feel like I already did something wrong. So disappointing. Clearly, I'm very inexperienced here. Maybe this is gonna take a month? Oof. Jesus. You gotta give her something to work off of? Well, like I said, I'm clearly inexperienced here. I don't really talk to women in this type of way. You know, the only women I actually do talk to in my life are my mom, my sister, and my co-workers. Give something back... Something to give a back and forth? Well, what do you want me to say? What, tell me about yourself? There's a chest. Joker, let's open it. I actually considered saying something like that. I was like... I, I was thinking of saying something like, tell me about yourself, but I didn't want to come off as desperate or needy. You know, I don't respond for a whole 24 hours, and then here I come bombarding her with messages. I didn't want to do that. Hey man, what you got? What, what you got on your mind? You look like you got something to say. Such boorish clothes. This is a pool, you know? Go change into swimsuits if you want to, if you want to be here. Let's sprawl out, gaze at the sky, and waste the time away in leisurely paradise. Okay then. Huh? Is there a safe room around here somewhere? This looks usable. Let's take a break, Joker. Clearly, like this is this is actually my first time even coming close to actually texting someone or messaging some messaging someone on a dating app. I'll just add this. And yeah, I may have messed up here, like royally messed up, but you know what? This can hardly even be considered the first try, because technically, okay, let's move on. technically nothing came from this. But like I said, I, I never expected anything to come out of this app, and I still don't. I honestly oh. do not expect to actually meet someone from having Tinder. Um. <clears throat> Maybe you should get it. Bruh, uh, you, you completely missed when I said it, too. I was saying, like, in one of the group chats I'm in, it's just me and three of our other friends. 
Like, I'm technically the weird one out for not having... Wait, for actually being the one only person in the whole group that has Tinder. So earlier today, they asked me, like, what, per what compelled you to get Tinder? Because clearly you didn't make this decision on your own. And I even told them, like, yo, most of our other friends actually have Tinder. It's actually just you guys here who don't. You heard? Everyone has it except you guys? Oh, you did hear that. I'm just not an active dater. Somewhere. Alright, let's dab through you! Uh, and then, you know, the friend I was talking to, the one who just wants to meet his soulmate first try. You know, in a perfect world, it plays out like that. You know, he actually said, like, he's not actively looking, but I am. Listen, okay? I'm not actively looking for form. someone. Contrary to how it sounds, just because I have Tinder and I use it, it doesn't mean I'm actively searching for it. A friend of mine the other day, may have been yesterday, the other day he was asking, like, when is National Girlfriend Day? Like, didn't that pass already? Like, why do you need to know that? And he was saying, like, so I know not to look on Instagram that day. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? I was jokingly saying, like, you know what? On my calendar, that date says, save money on dinner and gifts day. You know, being single on National Girlfriend Day or any other days like Valentine's Day or other holidays like that. Whoops, wrong one. I don't, I don't have to spend no money on fancy dinners. I don't have to buy like bouquets of flowers. I could just spend my hard-earned cash on a whole, on a big lot of amiibos. Instead of like buying a whole, <laughs> buying a, one night's worth of dinner, okay, a fancy dinner nonetheless. They didn't stand a chance. Bored All right, now. I can't dab Don't through you. Enemy. Wait, what that say about beautiful curves? Hold on. No matter when I come, I've always find myself surrounded by beautiful curves. Don't be embarrassed. That's the real reason you're here too, is it not? Maybe. So let's see. What do I need to do again? No. Not yet, at least. What do I need to do again? There's some dude I meant to talk to here, but I'm trying to remember. What do I do first? Was I supposed to change? Check in and present your boarding pass at this counter. What counter? This? No, clearly not. I don't think I'm supposed to enter the pool. I can't do a cannonball. I need to talk to someone. Oh, well, there's a door on that side. Maybe that's where I need to go first. Right? Is there a door over there? Yeah. Let me just run past this guy! Take this while I'm at it. Hmm? No? Frick. Somewhere. There was some guy I'm supposed to talk to here. But I'm trying to remember, like, is that the first thing I need to do, or is there something else I need to do first? Or is it just this guy? Here we go. Hey, dude. You got a sec? Bruh. Hmm. Uh, nice day today, huh? <laughs> Actually, maybe not. I, I want to go swimming in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn, Panther. What? Um, hello 
there. Skull's we really not really a people's like person. Really, we yeah. Don't take much of your not time. really. Will you listen? Please, sir. Sorry, but please leave me be. I don't have time for you rowdy children. Hey, you little... No, we apologize for our lack of manners. Come on, Skull. We should leave. What the hell's up with that guy? Did he really have to be acting all high and mighty like that? I think he can still hear you. We're not fair, that far. You walked up to him and said, Hey, dude, you need to approach this with more tact. Starting the conversation with a quarrel won't get us anywhere. Our approach doesn't matter if you won't listen to us. What are we supposed to do? Let's speak to the people around here. Perhaps we'll learn more about that man's temperament. At the very least, we might get some kind of hint. I guess that'd be better than nothing. Well, asking for info it is. Hmm? Okay, let's go. Oh, right. Now we have to gather intel. So, uh... So I just have this gut feeling. This is just something I feel. I could be totally wrong, probably am, but this is just something that I feel. Uh, well, I already talked to you. Now, this is just my own experience. Okay, Show let me. me your true form. This is just my own experience with Tinder. The matches, not matches, the options I get on Tinder are mostly white women. Mostly. I get some options that are different backgrounds sometimes, but mostly what I see are white women. So I need nuke and psychic. Now, this might be just me, but I just, I just don't feel like... And feel free, if there's any women out there watching this, feel free to correct me. I, I just don't get the feeling that white women are very interested in dating Asian guys. That's just me. I just get that gut feeling. Now, I could be totally wrong about that. Like, am I wrong for that? Not wrong. Am I wrong about that? Because in my experience, I don't really see many white girls dating Asian guys. Now that's not to say it doesn't happen, I just don't really see it. Now yes, it, I don't have to see it myself to, to uh, prove to myself that right. it does happen, but I don't know. To me it's just, uh, All right. Let's see it. I don't know, to me it just kind of feels like Asian dudes aren't that <laughs> desirable to white women. I don't know, that, that's just me, that's just, that's just the feeling I get. You know, off the top of my head, the first example that comes to mind is Glenn and Maggie. But that's a show. Yeah. Man. So I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm already losing from being on Tinder. Now, I could, I could just go on an Asian dating app, you know, because Tantan exists. But my biggest concern with using Tantan is that Tantan is like an only is an Asian only Tinder. My biggest concern with that is will 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 the women I match up with <coughs> excuse me if I even match up can they speak English? Like uh, I'm in a I'm in a lose lose position here. I don't know. I just I just get the gut feeling that white women aren't really interested in dating Asian guys. Well, not interested, not like that. It's like I don't know. They prefer other dudes over us. I guess. But that's just me. I could I could be completely wrong about that. Nah. 
And you know what? I've actually updated or tried updating my Tinder profile today. Just because I've really been pushing it off for like, I don't know, over a year now. Because I didn't really bother with it. And you know, now that I updated the app, there were other things that I can now include. Like I said, one of them was what I'm looking for. Like long term, short term, that stuff, I can add that now. Like what it is I'm looking for. I could even add stuff like personality type. And I'm, I, I looked at all these letters and I'm just like, what the hell is this? So I, I, I went online and did the first personality test I could find, and I guess I, I found one that... What did it even tell me I was? Hold on. Let's see. Let me go to my profile real quick. I got ISFP, and I guess that means like adventurer? I don't know. Whatever the personality test I did told me. Wait, I just go... Bruh! Why is there such an easily crawlable vent leading into the change room? That seems pretty poorly designed. You did it, Joker! We do seem to be inside that door we saw earlier, but why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? Just trust me. Wait here and I'll be right back. What's he up to? Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. You should. It's perfect. <laughs> this will totally work. Skull, you have quite a scary look on your face. Actually, it's creepy. Don't worry about that. Come on, let's head back to where that former, uh, noble dude is. Hey, it's you girls' time to shine. I didn't think that we were really going with such a simple plan. Ryuji, I love your plan. Well, there's <laughs> I'm no kidding. way guys lounging by the pool would not check out girls in swimsuits. I want to go home. Are we really going to do this? We're counting on you. Is there another way? Ryu Ryuji will love it. <clears throat> no, it's for our plan. Will you stop saying stuff like that with a straight face? If you guys don't hurry, he's gonna go off somewhere. Uh, hello. It's a nice day, isn't it? Oh, now we have your attention. Um, would you grant us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? A letter of introduction, you say? <laughs> I would never give one to some nobodies like yourselves. A nobody? I've made my decision to only introduce those with a prestigious lineage. No matter how beautiful you girls may look on the outside, your ancestry cannot be changed. Wow. Yes, that may be true, but, well, we're... I'm quite charmed to meet you, sir. My name is Ann Windsor. Ann Windsor? <laughs> Ann Windsor? Of British royalty. I beg your pardon. Seriously? These girls are the daughters of my retainers. Oh, yes. Lady On treats us quite well. Ah, are you half British, Anchan? I am. Your features are definitely different from Japanese girls. One can easily tell at a glance. Okay, then. <laughs> People tend to have such misconceptions, but that isn't true. My hobbies include tea ceremonies. Then again, my father forced me to learn that art. 
I see. I sense a noble aura that is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute. No matter how much effort a commoner exerts, <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. You're absolutely correct. I do feel a little sorry for these girls. For real? By the by, about the letter of introduction, if you'd be so generous to grant me one, I'll consider introducing you to my father. Oh, hey. Consider it my way of sending my regards to him. Thank you kindly. But goodness, do you look great in that swimsuit? I bro, that's such enough. Amazing body as well. You look like you could be a model. Oh no. Did you make sure to put on sunscreen? Bruh. Hey, um. As members of prestigious family lines, why don't we get on more intimate terms? Bruh! Excuse me? Back off! Come now, you peasant servants should take off. <laughs> You're making her embarrassed. Would you kindly stop this? Want to try on some other swimsuits in my room? Aye, bruh, you getting an ass whooping. Uh, don't touch me, you perv! No! Oh. Huh? Now that I'm done using you, get away, you creep! This guy's a molester! <laughs> what the? How dare you set me up like this? Uh, it's your fault for falling for such bad acting. Oh, shut up. We're doing this. Is this guy's first name Mo? Last name Lester? All right, we got a man team to take on. Wasn't this thing weak to electric? Its weakness is electricity. Yeah. Can use that. It'll Wait. Go down fast. Flying and Persona. flying and water type weak to electric. <laughs> okay, no ice. Persona. Now I know. Prepare yourself. Wait, I didn't really add much to my Tinder profile. Persona. I mostly Persona. added, like, what I'm looking for in a relationship. I added whatever the hell my, uh, personality type is. In terms of smoking, I put non-smoker, because, you know, of course I would. I put down job title, and yep, that that's about it. That's about all the updating I did on my Tinder profile. I appreciate it. Now, like I said, I need more pictures. I only have the ugly-ass selfie of mine, the one and only picture. I've always meant to go back and add more, but it's like I completely forgot to. My friends recommended uh, that I take pictures with my dogs. I definitely got to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm thinking of taking a picture, like a, a mirror selfie. You know, because a shirtless selfie is off the table for me. Okay, we got the letter of introduction. Only three more left. Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. Bruh, That's shut why the hell I up. to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. Lord in return for Shido. introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, on your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. <laughs> Stop bringing that up! 
Oh god, mute yes. again. You guys can't hear it, but Shido's talking to these guys that we take down on the phone. They have the same voice. So yeah, uh, a shirtless selfie is off the table, because uh, I do not look good without a shirt on. Unlike one of my friends who, you know, actually does have a buff build, he actually does have a shirtless selfie on his Tinder profile. Yep, can't be me. <clears throat> I'm thinking of just like wearing some sort of hoodie and just taking a, a picture in front of a mirror like my phone covering my face I'm actually thinking of You know certain pictures like I'm thinking of taking at least one picture of me not shaven like before I shave so I don't have a clean face Just in case what am I doing just so you just so whoever sees knows that well, this is how I look clean-shaven, and this is how I look completely messy. Because most of the time, I'm too lazy to shave. I just shave when I feel like it. Sometimes I let it grow out so much to the point it's like, now it's getting it's getting inconvenient, now it's getting in the way, I'll shave it off now. This is quite interesting. We can use it as a safe room. You know, normally, if, it, if there's not, like, a special event coming up, I don't shave until, like, it really grows out, and then I decide, you know what, I'll shave. Now, let's get back to work. You know, I'm not one of those people that, like, shave every single day, or, like, shave on the, the exact same day every week. I, I decide... I decide when I shave when I feel like it. The door so. is locked. We should look for another route. So I'm thinking of putting at least one picture of me without sh having shaved on my profile. That way people can see, you know, this is th this is what you're going to get. Like, if you're with me, you're going to have to deal with me completely messy on the face. Until I decide I feel like shaving. Gonna... I'm thinking of taking a picture with my glasses too, because then they could see what I look like with and without them. Um. I can't believe I was actually called cute. I mean, I'll take the compliment, but it's just like, you know, that was not expected, because no has dawned on me. Don't nobody call me cute, and actually mean it too. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also had a bunch of mac and cheese today. Because my family, we just bought a block of random cheese from Costco, and we wanted to try it out. Hey, wait! So my mom woke up early, boiled some pasta, and just added the cheese. So that's mostly what we ate today, throughout the day. And you guys know I love cheese. Explains why I'm so fat. Nice going. Is it true that mice or rats actually like cheese? I've always wanted to try that. Like maybe experiment with that. If I ever get an actual mouse, put some cheese down and will it actually go for it? 
But you know, when am I ever gonna do that? I doubt the local pet store would actually let me do that. story short, I'm still not expecting anything to come out of me having Tinder. I'm not desperate. I'm not overly desperate to, to meet someone new. Let me get my license first. How about that? Let me get a driver's license first and then, and then I'll feel a little bit more confident going out there and trying to meet someone. How would I even introduce myself, too? If I actually start texting someone, start messaging, and then we end up arranging a meetup date, it's like, what do I even say? Hi, I'm the exact same person that you've got a glance of online. I'll reveal your true form. Okay. So I need wind and electric. I mean, obviously the most simple thing I could say is just, Hi, my name is, you know, and it's like, it's nice, to, it's nice to finally meet you in person. Would you like to sit down and, I don't know, grab a coffee and, and chat, I guess. And then we start talking. You know, I can really take a, uh, take a page out of that one one dude's book in She-Hulk. You know, he's like, I've been on so many dates, I want to hear about you. Tell me about yourself. Instead of me talking about myself, you know, offer her to talk about herself first. It's like, I'd like to get to know you more, please. Tell me about yourself. I mean, that's kind of a good thing for me, too. I get to know if I'm interested in her or not. Which I guess I would get a hint of that first if I was actually messaging the person online. But you never know. They could they they could put on a fake face online. I have something. God, can you imagine how how you know how lucky we are that we don't turn back into humans? Inside the tiny little vents, we'd be dead. You know, because technically we're outside of the outside the range of the statues when we're inside there, like reaching the end of the tunnel. Thank God we don't turn back into humans right at the end too. Otherwise, yeah, we'd be dead. The fact that you don't see me here. Bruh! Get your ass on! Okay, you just gotta you just gotta circle back and forth here. So let's see, I need curse and curse and psychic. Wait a second, not this. Wow, I didn't expect one slice to take it out. No, not Makoto, damn it, I meant to go to Joker. Oh, okay, I'll take this as well. We haven't seen this one yet, I don't think. According to plan. Okay. Not bad. We still haven't seen Yusuke and On. Yeah, a new move. Wait, have we even seen Yusuke's and Ryuji's? 
Next physical attack. Ooh. Ooh, shock would be nice. Unlike burn, shock would be nice. Huh. <sighs> Physical attack, though. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. All right. Huh? Oh, come on! Okay, at least I could dab right through this one. I'll reveal your true form. Okay. Unlock this. <clears throat> Uh, okay. Just leads us back here. Is that door on the very end there locked? Talk about liminal spaces. Which is actually something I forgot to mention last time, too. This door <coughs> is locked. I wonder if we can open it from the other side. I got this idea while just, like, talking about it and scrolling through Twitter like scrolling through the liminal spaces Twitter page oh it appears that is a valuable <clears throat> article like I said before I like looking at liminal space pictures but the hell with being there I showed a friend of mine a liminal space picture he said let's go there I'm just like hell no you can go there if you want I only like looking at pictures of them. Or, you know, watching backrooms videos. This door is I can locked. Feel it. I wonder if we can open it from the other side. I like side. looking at liminal space pictures, but certainly not being there. And death through you! I'll pass for now. Shouldn't you take it now? So that when you come back here as a mouse, you don't get tempted Somewhere. and get trapped. There's a treasure chest. Come, let's open it. Wait, I was looking through the liminal space pictures, and there were a, a couple of winter ones too, like one with a, a gas station in during winter that's completely empty, Somewhere. or a neighborhood that's in winter and completely empty it's locked oh maybe we can open it from behind. so that that gave me the idea I really want to take some winter liminal space pictures I really want to do that once it starts snowing I want to do that I've already tried taking some granted very poorly done liminal space pictures of say my empty school an empty mall but you know, there's only so much I can work with. It, the liminal spaces are essentially just empty pictures with no people in it. But yeah, I really want to take some winter liminal space pictures. And then the idea hit me. I could technically post these. I could post these on my Instagram. I haven't really posted anything on my Instagram for like, I don't know, two years now. I post on my story every now and then depending on what's going on in my life, but in terms of an actual post, I haven't really done anything on my Instagram for quite a while. Guess I have to take you on. Never mind! Okay, now that I'm back here, what's this do for me? Huh? Wait a second. I think I can go and unlock that door right there. But I think I need to be a mouse to do that. Wait, do I? No, wait. Maybe I don't, because I can just walk there now. Or can I? Wait. No, no, I do need to be a mouse. You 
are a fool. Come through here and unlock that door. Because you're human on this end. And once you unlock that door, then you can proceed. I can see it. Wait, get in there. Thank you. There you go. Yes. Whoops. What'd you say there, Mor- Uh, I almost called you Morgana. Makoto. And now, I can proceed to turn off the mousing effect. I don't know what I just said there. Mousing effect? I just made that up. Now, I can freely walk here. There you go. Using that brain of yours. Are you green? Hell no. I'll reveal your true form. Psychic and new. I think I'll stop at the next safe room I can find. Disappointing. I'll take that. Okay. So I can unlock those doors. Doesn't seem like there's many rooms here with the mousing effect can be an effect. There's maybe th two more. Because that one on the end is the exit. Whoa! Are you green? No. Move along. I said move along! Nope, this door's locked. This door. It's locked from the other side. So I can unlock this door. Take a look at where we need to go first, because I, I need to unlock this door. Bruh! Wow, you really not gonna budge, huh? Okay then. Okay, so I need wind and curse. <laughs> Baton passed it to no, the Joker. Oh, come on. Do it again. You're mine. Well, on to the next trial. Okay, let's move on. Okay. A stylish victory. Okay, so I need to go this way and see what's uh I hear a treasure. See it. You're green. Let me kill you with my dab. <clears throat> I'll take this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so clearly we need to pass through here with a mouse. I 
I hear a shadow. A, a shadow. I hear a treasure, but it's on the other side of the wall. What did that do for me? Okay, so I, I can turn into a mouse there. I just wonder how many people are gonna are, are not gonna know the idea of mine to to post liminal space pictures on my Instagram, and then the people who actually do follow me, they're just gonna wonder what the hell is this? Why do you keep posting empty pictures of places? Like, I don't imagine ninety percent of the people who follow me even know what liminal spaces are, or even know about stuff like the back rooms. <clears throat> like the creepy pasta that is the back rooms. I'm gonna try though. Once it once once it once it hits winter and it starts snowing, I kind of want to try that. So let's see. Do I need to be a mouse in here? Kinda don't think I do. And then I need to be human here. What kind of boat layout is this? Green, except this dab. Okay, so I can. Oh, uh, I could have been. A, I do need to be a mouse in here. Well, let's take a look since we're already human in here. I can open that locked door at least. No, you don't. Uh oh. I'm lagging. Am I about to crash? Please don't crash. And we're good. Ready on your mark. Ice are out. They're weak, but don't let your guard down. Ice attacks are out. Let's try some They're melee. Don't let your guard down. Okay, that's fine. Did very little. Wow, you really trying to get your revenge? Wow. So you were weak to what? Curse? Yeah. Nice! Don't forget this feeling, just like I thought. Alright. Shadow defeated. Now let's push forward. So I can now unlock this door. Okay. We can now pass through here whenever we please. So I need to be Hugh. No, I need to be a mouse to go through there. I think. Let's just take a look. How about that? Pretty sure that door would be locked. Because we heard the treasure on the other side. Is it locked? Yep, it's locked. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go mousify ourselves again. I choose to turn into a mouse. Thank you. Wasn't that a story somewhere? I remember there was uh, some sort of movie on, on the TV as a kid. I don't remember what it is or what if it, what it's even about. This this kid got turned into a mouse. I remember one scene where this uh, 
the chef in the kitchen try to try to kill the mouse with a, like a meat cleaver, but the kid who got turned into the mouse got away. I think he made it back to his grandma, and then the grandma noticed like you're bleeding because like part of his tail got cut off from the meat cleaver. Joker, there's a treasure chest. Holy it. crap! You are you green? What color are you? I can't see. You look more yellow than green. Okay, then. I didn't want to fight you anyways. Oh, you just... You, that was an ambush. You disappeared so you can reappear behind me. Focus. Get away, get away. Guarding a pretty small spot here, man. Alright, fine. You're just gonna do the same thing before? Wow, okay then. I have something. Let's see if I can use the grappling hook to ambush you. Don't worry about their identities after. Yeah! Show me your true form! Oh, it's just you, huh? The one with no weaknesses. Well, if it has no weaknesses, why not try brainwashing it? Surprisingly tough. An enemy's frozen. No weaknesses? Whoops! Not what I well, not what I meant to do. Forget its skills. Prepare yourself. Let's try Miracle Punch. It's time. Okay. You're mine. The enemy is electrified. Melee may work. You might get shot. Melee may work. I'd rather not risk that. Because I could do this instead. So we're basically done with this whole area, we just have that big ass room to get to now. But I imagine we have to turn off the mouse effect before we go there, right? Nope, not this way. So go over here, turn it off first. Watch I need that actually, watch I actually do need to be a mouse in there. Or are we rats? I don't remember. Okay, and that door leads to... Eh, I guess it could lead back to that switch as well. Ooh, I hear a will seed. Or is that a will seed, actually? I can feel it. Yeah, okay, a human-sized crawl space. I've gotta crawl downward. I hear a treasure chest. That's no will seed. Joker, there's a treasure chest. We can get more money. Oh! Oh! Whatever that is, I don't know what that is. I have you didn't see anything. Get 
away from that. I want it. Area clear. Somewhere. Nothing else for me to get in this room, right? Go for it. You guys failed at your jobs. Let's see it. Okay, we finally made it to the end of that 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 very annoying room. This is about a good spot for me to end it soon, because there should be a safe room just around here. This is a long palace, I told you. <sighs> Focus. Two of these guys, huh? You can take this nice and easy. Can I use gun on these guys? Damn. Keep smiling, buddy. I will be smiling when I whoop your ass. Yep, that's what you get. Now I need to auto heal before I save the game. With this power. All right. We've rid ourselves of those nuisances. It's the, it's the uh, safe from downstairs. Hold on. You're green, so I can dab right across you. I'll Bitch! Your true form. Give me this. I can feel it. So I gotta go downstairs, maybe. I also hear a treasure somewhere. Ooh. They're all green, so I can just annihilate them with my fabulous dab. You're not green, you're yellow. Focus. Weren't you green earlier? Just a moment ago? There's a safe room right there. My god, they actually shoot. Tupo, you can take this nice and easy. We're evenly matched here. Just don't let your No weaknesses, huh? Someone finish it. Hold on. Persona. Watch us up and take this. Fox is not you. Don't. It's not listening to you. Let it took out a shadow. Nice. Ooh. Join my cause. I guess. It's been a while since we last recruited a shadow. Guess that's not what I'm doing this playthrough. But I don't really need this, so. Uh, yep. Goodbye. Victory is ours. Your power is incredible, Joker. Okay. Anything else for me to do before I call it quits for now? Wow, look at that. 
you would think there'd be a higher railing to protect anyone from falling overboard, because it's very easy to just fall overboard here. Somewhere. Just one last look before I call it for tonight. Joker. So I assume we're, we're supposed to go in through there. Ah, that's where the treasure chest was that I was hearing. It was underneath the stairs. Ah, what you got to say, par, par, bartender? Are we gonna have to do slots again? I don't think so. Wait a second. No, there's nothing. Nothing here, but I'm gonna take it so it doesn't tempt me next time. Okay, this is a good spot to end for now. This is quite interesting. We can use it as a safe room. We're only about halfway done this palace, by the way. If even, we still got three more of these letters to get. We only got two out of five. I'll just add this. But yeah, I'm gonna call it here for today. Oh, see you guys next time.